This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It's a 1999 Dodge Ram 2500. That's a three-quarter ton. It's a quad cab, which back then was a four-door extra cab. Uh, it's a Laramie SLT. It's a 5.9 liter Cummins turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. It has 225,000 miles. It's a really pretty truck. Obviously, whoever owned it before it was stolen from them uh, liked it a lot. Um, has an edge uh, programmer. Um, it's a long bed. It's a nice hard tonneau cover on it. It's on a salvage title due to theft, not collision. Um, please uh, watch the little three minute animated video to understand how you get a uh, salvage title when there's no collision, fire, flood, or any of that stuff. It's strictly a paperwork thing, liability issue for the insurance company. Uh, they just don't want the liability of saying it's a clean title and not knowing anything about the truck. Uh, that's what happens. So anyway, my job is to walk around and show you what's really what's wrong. I'll point out what's right, but really what's wrong so that when it gets to you, wherever you are in the world, uh, especially if you ship it, um, that uh, you're happy with what you get and it matches what you were sold. All right. It's black, so you're going to have black truck issues. It's actually a pretty truck, um, but, you know, it's a black truck, so it's going to have uh, <laughs> issues related. Scratches, things like that. Something was closed in the hood, and that is a little Audi ding. So something was underneath the hood, and they closed it and did that. Front tires look to be probably 30 or 40 percent tread. A couple little chips here. This isn't. This is not a, a show truck. I mean, this was a truck, <laughs> and it's a 13-year-old truck. There's some scratches and chips there. But, and I, I've seen some. It looks like they. At some point, somebody might have painted. I'm not sure if this bed. Yeah, I would say that the both. I, I would say the bedsides have been painted. Not too bad. Not not great. Better than Mako, but not factory. There's a ding right here. If you're familiar with Mako, it's a one stage paint. This is uh, not a one stage paint. Whoever did that actually knew how to paint. or something on there. It's weird to have the tailgate not all hammered. There's a couple of scratches up here, but uh, means he didn't tow much. Let's see if we can get this thing open. There we go. All right. So that's what you got there. Nice bed liner, hard tonneau cover, nice option there. Not sure what's going on here. Looks like someone backed into it pretty hard, smashed a big hole in it. And of course, wherever there's a hole, you're gonna get rust. Good news is those rear bumpers are probably, gee whiz, I think you can buy a rear bumper aftermarket for about 200 bucks if you wanted one. The driver's side of the bed looks really good. Obviously, the driver. Rear tire is always the lowest tread, and that looks like it's about 20 30 percent. Driver's side bed looks <laughs> almost perfect. I hate to say perfect because someone will find something wrong, but what I noticed was I saw some sandy marks right in here and here. It's like they didn't they didn't buff it out enough before they did it. Looks like this door has had some sort of body work done on it. It's hard to tell in the video. Maybe you can see it. It's in HD. 
kind of goes into the door. Looks like right in here. But I mean, it's, you know, like again, we're at a 99 Ram truck. So if you're looking for cars that haven't had some paint work on it, you probably need to go to the, your local auto mall. I've had a few people like that wondering why your old trucks aren't brand new. Those are the people we really don't need around. They're trucks, and people use them as trucks. All right, so you've got an aftermarket air cleaner. Here's your sought-after motor. Here's your edge programmer. Not much to report there. Everything does have two new batteries we put in. I know we did an ignition also in it. seat looks brand new which isn't really that rare on uh, on these diesel trucks there's a little stain right there in the middle of the screen that's boring nothing to report there those overhead computers never work so it'll be I'll be curious to see if this one works usually these door panels are hammered too but this is this looks pretty good this guy was a Sort of a crazy person, I think. Alright. It's a manual seat, which is a good thing, because they're famous for having... There's a little tiny... It doesn't, it's not a hole. I don't know what you would call that. It doesn't go all the way through. A little tear in the, like, the top part of the fabric. Alright. Yep, keys are in it. I should have checked that before I got in. Uh, I promise I'm a professional. Put my seatbelt. All right. That was the first time this thing's been started in about. Uh, Three days. We haven't done a move this thing in about three days, so that would be the uh, little bit of a slow start. I've had my guys; they've been doing parts running this thing, so I would have heard about it being a problem if it was a problem. I see something right here. It's hard to tell in these in this pattern of fabric. Let's try the air real quick. Obviously, <laughs> big hole here. That would be the radio that you need to buy. I have no idea what this is for. This is all the switches for. No clue. And I have a feeling because the seatbelt light's on that I must be plugged into the uh, middle seat seatbelt. on and off. There it is. And cruise control. There's cruise control on and off. We have a uh, tilt wheel. There's tilt wheel. That works. Let's see what else do we have. Uh, let's try some, uh, well, let me turn this air down here. It's pretty loud. The fan is blowing like a hurricane in here. Put it up into four wheel low. The cruise control here. All right. Holy cow! Yeah, that's definitely. <laughs> that would be uh, Cummins in four low. Now let's put a reverse. Yeah. Um, if you need to pull your neighborhood, um, you could do that. Let's go all the way back to four wheel drive high. That's that's four high. And yes, we can drive at speed in that. Put it in reverse. And you can definitely feel that this thing runs really good. Alright, let's put it in two-wheel drive. Go for a ride. Alright.
Let me see if this thing works real quick. Oh no, of course not. It doesn't seem to work. <laughs> Don't even bother. They, I think they sell those little things on eBay, the little digital things that I think are like $29. There's a reason they're so cheap because they buy them by the gunny sack because they fail all the time. I stopped doing them because I'm just annoyed. I put them in and then they go to the customer's house and they fail again. I got tired of buying them. So I'm not going to anymore. Okay, let's see. What do we got going on here? We have a salvage title vehicle. Um, if you want the truck, uh, if you want to drive the truck home, we have to restore the title. That means we have to take it to the motor vehicle, get a level three inspection done to it. The level three inspection means that we can take the level three and the salvage title and get what's called the restored salvage title. At that point, you can get plates and you can get insurance. Without it, you can't. So, we charge $200 to do that. We get up at six in the morning, take it down to motor vehicles and get it restored. Um, that's $200. Uh, $250 dock fee and taxes. Taxes are 2% uh, city tax in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. If your state tax rate is like Oregon or Alaska, then it's zero. Uh, then you're all you're gonna pay is 2% tax, $250 dock fee, and $200 to restore the title. Um, blah, 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 what else? Um, just plug in your state tax rate at 2%, add $250 dock fee, and a $200 to restore. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're going to pay is the agreed upon price, no tax, no dock fee, um, unless you want us to restore the title. Um, I recommend that you have us do that just so that it's done and, and you don't have to deal with it there. Um, although in places like Texas, it's pretty easy to get it done yourself if you know what you're doing and it's cheap. Um, just make sure that you know that whatever your state tax, whatever your state laws are, whatever you're required, all you're going to get from us is the truck itself. Um, a salvage title uh, and a bill of sale and so just make sure if you decline our, our, our uh, deal of getting the title restored that you uh, can get it done yourself with those documents and the truck all right let me stop real quick here there we go let's do this Wastegate. That's cool, man. <laughs> this thing runs good. Really good. It's a Dodge, so it's kind of loud, but uh, holy cow. Good running truck. Uh, please check it out. Um, it'll be a fair price. Please make sure you get the deposit in. No deposit, no deal. Um, somebody comes in after you with cash, says, I want to buy this car, and we don't have a deposit, they get the car. All right? Uh, please have a great week, great weekend, be safe.